Yo, what is up ladies and gentlemen, it is your boy Zethi here and I am back at it again to drop yet another installment for what if Deku was Frieza's reincarnation. Now, before I do start this video, I do have one thing to say. This video is going to be a sponsored video, however, there will be more details on that in the middle of the video. Randomly placed in there so you guys are forced to listen to my sponsor. No, but seriously though guys, before I do start the video, make sure you guys check my links into my description, which you know, sponsors down there in case you want to see what it is or my discord server and my thumbnail maker dank god in case you guys want to check any of his stuff out that being said a lot of you guys actually ended up really liking the series of what if deku was frieza's reincarnation so of course i am going to be finishing off the entire series i hope you guys do go on to enjoy the video seeing as you know your boy put in a lot of time work and effort into this so yeah if i would really appreciate it if you left the like and maybe hit that subscribe button if you end up liking the content with that being said let's Get started. Alright, so I'm going to be picking off the story right where I had previously left off in the last part. So, as I was saying, Luna would basically proceed to start training her quirk for the next 10 months and her body as well. And she would even be doing that with All Might. While uh, Deku is kind of just chilling by himself. The man's not really going to be doing too much training. The man's not really going to be focusing on nothing really. And he's kind of just going to be, you know... Uh, just hanging out with Luna every other day and kind of sparring with All Might any chance that he gets. I mean, sparring with All Might at this point has kind of become a little dota Deku just due to the fact that, I mean, at this point, Deku is far, far beyond anything that, like, the My Hero world can possibly throw at him. See, a lot of my Dekus are usually broken, but this Deku is at about the same power level that Golden Frieza was at, if you guys don't remember. Actually, no, since technically his servants didn't even bring Frieza back until before he had his uh, Golden Power. So Frieza is going to be like, let's say Majin Buu tier-esque type power. Yeah, he's like Majin Buu tier, you know, in terms of his power and destructive capabilities. That being said, Luna would basically end up getting ready for the quirk by the end of the 10 months, and All Might would actually be quite surprised. He'd actually not have, not have, he would have never actually guessed that she would have gotten this powerful in, in the matter of just 10 months. See, for the first seven months, she basically ended up doing endurance training and physical training to make sure that her body didn't essentially explode when Whenever she used one for all so for the next three months she ended up working on full cowling and also getting used to the abilities that her quirk now gives her because before she could only create barriers in front of her now she can create barriers wherever she wants and they are extremely powerful it would take one of all might's full power smashes to destroy one of them so just imagine like how powerful that is before they were you know they, they get broken you know it was it was not easy but it was also not hard if you get what i'm putting down right but yeah now they're way more powerful and during the 10 months Deku pretty much didn't really do too much training because I mean baby Deku at the start of the anime or no not the anime but at the start of the what if was already as powerful as final form Frieza in the Majin Buu arc type stuff right now imagine that but with 15 years of training non-stop hard work and dedication to try to keep his power in check Deku is far beyond anything that Frieza could have ever attained. If you guys don't remember, Frieza quite literally was able to catch up to Goku and Vegeta in the matter of six months. And I believe if you use different translations, it's longer or shorter periods of time. But long story short, Frieza is an absolute monster when it comes to his potential. In four, no, 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 five months, I know. I'm sorry, six months, yeah. In six months, our boy Frieza was able to attain the level of Super Saiyan God tier in just six months. Now, imagine that 15, like, like times that by 15. Um, uh, oh, wait, no, 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 times that by 30. 
That's how strong Deku is. He's about as strong as Goku T23's Frieza's be after training for like years and years and years. So yeah, our boy Deku is extremely broken. Like it's not even a joke how absurdly, insanely powerful Deku is. If anybody was to say anything to Deku, Deku could honestly just obliterate them from existence and there would be not a single person who would be able to oppose him. That being said, this is when I will be skipping over to the day where they actually have their existence. Exam. And you know, they're all basically getting ready. You know, everybody's just vibing. Deku goes to pick up Luna from her house to finally make their way to the entrance exam. And this is when everybody just kind of is pretty chill and you know mellowed out. Deku and her would walk inside and he would pretty much proceed to take the written portion as he and Luna would of course end up passing because you know they're pretty smart. They're intelligent people. It's not like Deku just did nothing but train. Deku of course ended up training his mind along the way during those 15 years and he knows various combat styles. So it's not like he's like Frieza where he's simply a brawler. No, Deku has refined hands. Like this man has earned his title of being able to throw the strongest hands in the My Hero Academia version as of currently. But with that being said, they would of course go outside and this is when Deku would just be waiting out there with Luna by his side. He and her would be talking and I'm not going to lie, they'd get a pr they'd get a little loud, right? And that would end up causing a blue haired boy to, you know, have his ears perk up as he's like, my word, they are being so obnoxious as he would pretty much proceed to go over there march and be like, excuse me, would you mind keeping it down, please? As it's at this point that Deku would look at Luna as Luna just kind of is like, like shrug. She just gives him a shoulder shrug. And this is when Deku would look at, look at Ida's direction as he would say, all right, buddy. You got lucky this time. I'm going to give you one chance to walk away. If you don't, you're going to be six feet under. And Ida would immediately say, How dare you threaten me like this? As Deku's eyes would glow a red color and he would shoot a beam straight at Ida. Or no, not at Ida, but at Ida's side. He, Ida would be holding a giant jug of water and Deku would disintegrate it just w like with zero ease. Like with all the ease in the world, right? This is when Ida would be like, "I," right? and he would pretty much walk away. As Deku would look at Luna and be like, "Freaking loser!" As it's at this point that Deku would be like, "All right, I'm tired of waiting." And Luna would be like, "Come on, just wait a little longer." As Deku was like, "Nope," and he pretty much points his hand towards the gate as he would disintegrate it immediately by shooting a key blast at it, and then proceed to just rush in there. As Deku destroys every single robot before Luna gets a chance to do a thing. So everybody who was currently present at the little robot portion would not get to destroy a single robot and every single one of them would have to come back the very next day when more robots are made some of them would even have to do whole different exams because of the fact that deku was able to obliterate them all in a matter of an instant now this is when presentable nezu would just be like my word that kid that kid's gonna be like gods here by the time he graduates the cat the uh the uh what's it called the Quirk Hero School? The pro no, yeah. The Pro Hero School. I always get those little things messed up and like all bottled up in my mind. But yeah, he's going to be a monster and that's basically what Principal Nezu's thinking. That being said, this is when Deku would just fly off home and he would just basically wink at Luna as she's like, I swear... I'm gonna kill that boy someday. As Deku would arrive home, he'd pass out and do nothing for the rest of the day. This is when he would proceed to get on his phone and be like, huh, Sether just dropped a new video? What? As he would click on it and immediately he would hear the beginning of the video going, yo, what is up boys? It is your boy Zether as he would pretty much start skipping the intro and this is when out of nowhere he would see and this is when we are going to be introducing the sponsor. He would be like, oh my god, I have to listen to a sponsor and um, yeah, you have to listen to a sponsor. <laughs> Okay guys, so as for the sponsor of today's video, I felt as if I needed to basically keep it in the realm of Dragon Ball. However, don't let that stop you guys. Everything you guys see here comes in different colors, meaning if you didn't like the color of this one, you can find it in a different design. Let's say I wanted this shirt right here in blue or I wanted it in red, I could feel free to change the color. Now, if you are going to be buying anything from this side, I would suggest staying true to size, seeing as it doesn't shrink, and the quality of all this stuff is actually really, really good. So you're not gonna be finding stuff like this at your local Walmart or something like this. This is real quality merch, guys. 
So in case someone's birthday's coming up or you simply just want to add some more drip to your to your wardrobe, then feel free to come on this website. If you guys don't like Dragon Ball, you can always feel free to switch it up a little bit. Let's say I'm not feeling the Dragon Ball aesthetic. Well, they have multiple options to select from. Oh my god, this one's kind of drippy. Hold on now. I might just I might just oh okay anyways so yeah they have multiple options they have my hero academia attack on titan jujutsu kaisen demon slayer naruto and well the list can just honestly go on and on so in case you guys are wanting to buy yourself some brand new anime merchandise then what are you waiting for go down below and click the link down below in the description and if you use the code zether you can get a discount from your purchase starting now now let's get back into the video Okay, so after that little brief sponsor that you guys just got, I'm definitely going to have to get back into the story and go twice as hard with the progression, seeing as it did waste a solid one minute. However, boys, if you guys did see it and you guys are interested in buying the merch, definitely go down below and click the link. With that being said, Deku would wake up the very next day for his first day at UA, and this is when Deku would walk inside of the classroom with Luna. They would basically be walk holding hands as immediately he could see that the blue-haired boy from yesterday is arguing with a blondie now this one i'm going to be bringing up something that i probably forgot to mention on the last part deku didn't end up going to the same high school oh wait no he did he did end up going to the same high school i forgot okay yeah deku would walk inside and this one he would see bakugo as bakugo would be arguing deku would just be like nothing new as he would go back to as he would go and sit down at the back of the class with luna this one about two minutes would pass and Aizawa would finally wake up as he's just like it took you guys eight seconds to quiet down you guys need to work on that and everybody would just be like bro who is this guy like what are you doing here bro like go get a life as immediately Uraka would just be like uh who are you Aizawa would say my name is Shota Aizawa I'm going to be your homeroom teacher put these on and meet me outside Uraka would be like uh right but what about the orientation as Aizawa would immediately look at her with a little bit of a like he would he would tilt his head to the side and just be like are you dumb? As he would pretty much say, we don't need that stuff. We're not here to be told about how great we are. We are. We're here to make sure you can become pro heroes by the time you graduate from this academy. Now put these on and meet me outside. Everybody would do as they were told, and this is when they would meet outside. As Deku, well to put it shortly, Deku would quite literally get the same exact scores that you would believe Saitama would get. He would pull a One Punch Man moment. You guys remember Saitama when he had to take his uh, hero license? exam and he destroyed all of the exams that's basically what happens but if with all of the exams that they had in the my hero academia version Deku would do just that and by the end of everything all the kids there meaning you know Todoroki Kaminari Mineta they would all just be like bro this is unhealthy how is he this powerful and this is when everybody would just be like bro this is not fair like bro why is this kid so strong people would walk up to Deku and ask him what his quirk is and Deku would say that his quirk is key manipulation which essentially allows him to control life energy and everybody would be like all right that's awesome so what's the downside to all this power Deku would say well I mean I guess if there was one I'd say it's energy consumption but seeing as I trained with it for 15 years I don't think there is any consumption of energy everybody would be like wait so like you don't have a downside as deck would say nah bro not really and they would all just be like no fair as at this point Deku would look at luna he'd pretty much she'd pretty much run up to him hug him and this one they would rush off home as Deku would pick her up and just fly off the girls at ua would cream in their pants as they're just like oh my god what a hunk no nah, i'm just kidding but seriously though the girls at ua would be like bro she's so lucky as it's at this point that Deku would end up arriving home and they would end up having dinner at Deku's house Inko would get down to the kitchen as Deku's little sister would finally arrive home from school she'd say I'm home as Deku would say great now put your stuff away we're eating right now she'd put her stuff away as this is when she would say oh hey Luna as it's at this point that those two would have a little conversation with each other and Deku would just be talking to his mother as she's like so how was your guys's first day of school immediately Deku would say pretty boring as usual 
usual, and she's like, yeah, I kind of figured you'd say something like that, considering what your quirk is, as she would look towards Luna's direction and say, I mean, it was great, but, you know, Izuku here had to be a show-off, like usual, Inko would say, yeah, it sounds like him, as it's at this point that Deku would just start cracking up, and this is when they would pretty much just have a good dinner, right? This is when I'm going to be fast-forwarding over to the day of the heroes versus villains, seeing as there's not really too much grounds to cover in terms of content when it comes to this stuff. That being said, the day of the heroes versus villains stuff would arrive, and this is when All Might would pretty much look at everybody as he busts in through the class saying, I am here, coming in like a normal person, as everybody would be like, All Might, it's you! Deku wouldn't really be too shocked, and he'd just be like, yo, what's up, All Might? Everybody would look at Deku like, bro, I swear. You need some respect, bro. Like, it's the number one hero. And Deku would be like, yeah, I know him. He's like my best friend. All Might would immediately just start smiling. And this is when the kids would be like, no wonder you're this strong. You probably trained with All Might. He probably got you to where you are. And this is when All Might would just be like, no, he did it on his own, actually. He's even stronger than me. As everybody in the class would be like, what? They'd be like, there's no way this kid's stronger than you. And All Might would just be like, I mean, as he would whip out his phone, he would show them a video of them sparring, and it pretty much shows Deku completely obliterating All Might. It's not a game. All Might literally got flicked in the forehead, and he was unconscious for the, like, the next two weeks. So yeah, when All Might says that Deku is far more powerful than him, he means Deku is far more powerful than him. This is when everybody in the class would be like, Alright, as this is when they would all be told to pretty much suit up, and Deku's costume would pretty much be that of which you guys see in the thumbnail. He would be wearing a gi which is purple, uh, gray, and black. And it's at this point that All Might would say, alright guys, so usually I would have you guys do the heroes versus villains stuff, but seeing as we have a, a student here who's even more powerful than me, I say we have a little bit of fun. As he would say, Zuku, you're going to be fighting against everybody here. However, there's going to be a catch. Your arms and legs will be tied and you will be blindfolded. As Deku would say, all right. And this one, Luna would be like, are you crazy? As Deku's like, bro, don't play with me. You know I can handle all y'all. As Luna's like, all right, but you know, don't say I didn't warn you. As everybody would pretty much be like, <laughs> they would all start laughing and be like, okay, he's stronger than All Might, but even All Might, if he was tied up like that, wouldn't be able to do a thing to us. They would all get suited up, and they'd get pretty confident. They'd be like, yeah, this is going to be easy, an easy A in the class. This is when Deku would pretty much just be tied up with a chair, and he's pretty much told that, yeah, those restraints can't really hold him, but, you know, just don't cheat. Deku would say, nah, nah, don't trip, and this is when he would pretty much just sit down in the chair as everybody gets ready to unleash their full power attacks. Bakugo would have a giant smirk on his face as he would be like, I finally get to pay you back for all those years of misery, Deku. He would pretty much fly up into the skies, he would say, Howitzer, impact! He would rush at Deku's direction as Deku would immediately glance up at his direction and a barrier of just ki would form as Bakugo would get flown into a building in an instant KO. Kaminari would look at him as he would say, there's no way. He would immediately say, well you're not stopping this. He would plant both of his feet into the ground and say, two million volts! As all of that energy would go straight over to Deku and Deku would just be standing there. So he's like, hmm kind of tickled. This one Kaminari would be like, there's no way. And everybody would start throwing their strongest attacks over and over and over. But Deku's key is so powerful that he would knock everybody out in the class other than Todoroki and Luna. She would immediately charge 30% full cowling within herself and blitz at Deku's direction. As she traps him within a small barrier and she begins to crush it within her hands. Immediately Deku would say, ah, and blow the entire barrier apart as Luna and Todoroki get instant KO'd by the wind pressure and they would both pretty much ricochet off of buildings as Deku would look at All Might and say too much All Might would say just a little bit as Deku would be like all right don't even worry I can heal them All Might would say is there a thing you can't do as Deku would say uh, watch horror movies All Might would be like you're kidding, right? As Deku would say, nah, like, I'm telling you, I am terrified of horror movies. I can't sit through a single one. As All Might say, interesting. This is when, you know, you guys just found out one of my fears. I can't sit through any horror movies. Like, I literally will not sleep for the next week if I watch a horror movie. I'm that scared of things. Like, I know it's not real, but it's like, bro, 
It's terrifying. Like, imagine closing your eyes and seeing that every time you close your eyes. Like, it's not real in the real world, but in my dream world, it's pretty real to me. So, yeah, Deku just tells him that, and All Might would just chuckle as he's like, interesting. This one he would say about one week later, as, you know, the very next day, the very next two days, is going to be the USJ event. But, he would pretty much invite Deku and Luna over to his house to watch a movie, and this one they would arrive to All Might's mansion, as that symbol of peace money is definitely pretty thick. They would pretty much go inside as All Might's like, alright, so what do you guys want to do? This is when he would say, how about we watch a movie, as Deku was just like, sure thing. He would immediately put on a horror movie, and Deku would quite literally close his eyes and fly out of there straight from the roof, as he's like, nope, and he would have grabbed Luna as well. This is when he would see All Might the very next day at school, and All Might would just be cracking up. All Might would of course be a little tired, but seeing as Deku did end up healing him because, you know, with Ki you can actually heal people, he pretty much is fine. His condition is way less worse than it was in the original. However, All Might did of course still pick a successor because, you know, if you have a if you have any brain cells, you would pretty much realize that yeah, even though All Might's healthy, he is getting old, so it's like he does need a successor. So yeah, this one the day of the USJ would arrive, and they would of course be on the bus discussing who the strongest in the classroom is. When at this point, so you would say, Ribbit, it's definitely Deku. As some people would say, No way, Todoroki has to be the strongest. He was just caught off guard, and then people would just start chuckling as they're like, No, yeah, we're totally kidding. Deku is definitely the strongest. Deku would be hearing this and just be like, Yeah. I mean nothing new as it's at this point that Luna would be like you're such a show off as Deku was like nah not really a show off it's just you no know, I know what I can do as Deku would just start smiling and it's at this point that you know Aizawa would say quiet down or else you guys are not going to be getting part three of this amazing what if if you guys want the next part of the what if Deku was Frieza's reincarnation I'm going to be needing you guys to definitely hit that like button as well as subscribe to the channel and let me know what you guys thought down below in the comments section that being said Aizawa out all right guys so after Aizawa gave you guys that outro I am now going to be giving you guys the official one all right I have a couple of things to say before the video ends so please don't click away number one please 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 go check out my community tab seeing as it is going to be giving you guys a bit of an update on what the upload schedule is going to be from now on and what you guys can be expecting from today moving forward that being said I hope you guys did enjoy today's video and I hope you guys go on to click on my sponsor seeing as you know your boy would appreciate it it helps out the channel and helps out my pockets a bunch so yeah with that being said i love each and every single one of you guys i hope you have a you guys have a good day and uh, with that being said zether out